Hello, today's the last day of the challenge. Can't believe it, 14 days. All right, so back to Pilates, body weight stuff. So hands behind the head. Just stay here, just breathe. Not forward into the ribs, but try to breathe sideways into the ribs. Because we want to start with breathing the right way, so we breathe the right way into the exercises. Keeping your shoulders down away from the ears, inhale. And then we're only gonna move on the exhale. So exhale, curl up, inhale, hold. And then exhale, come back down. Inhale, hold it down. Exhale, curl up. Inhale, hold it up. Tailbone stays down, exhale, coming down. Inhale, exhale, when you curl up, try not to tilt back through here. See how my stomach pooched a little bit? You keep it down, then you get the flat abs, which is the transverse. Inhale, and exhale. Alternating oblique the same way as inhale. Exhaling up and over. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, other side, inhale, exhale. So when we go slow, we're going to pull from our slow twitch muscles, which tend not to bulk up. They tend to be more, um, they go wide and thin, which is why Pilates is so great. Some people who tend to bulk up from the gym, it's really the fast twitch that goes um, up versus wide. And so if you're more active, you might not feel this as much because you've trained your fast twitch muscles more. So you might not love Pilates and the slow, but if you stay with it. So inhale, stay up, exhale, twist, stay up, inhale, exhale. This is where we're moving from. It's not the elbows crossing, it's more from here. <sighs> inhale, exhale, three. Inhale, exhale, two. And one more time here, back to the center and come all the way back down. All right, so feet in towards you and then come lift the hips up on the exhale, knees in towards each other. Inhale, hold here. And then exhale, tailbone down, good. Inhale, exhale. So here you shouldn't be tucked under and squeezing your glutes. You want length. And then come back down so your butt hits before the lower back. Exhaling and up. Inhaling back down. And then two more. And up one more. Stay here. Shift your hips a little to one side. Inhale, shift the other. So my knees aren't moving. It's really my rib cage a little, but I'm actually more trying to shift it from my glutes. Inhale, exhale, and four more. And then three, two, and then one more time. Back to the center, and then bring the hips back down. Let's lift it up again, hold it up. Scissor the arms, one arm up, one arm down. If you have weights and you wanna use them, now's a good time. And then four more, three, two, and then one more time. Both arms can come down and then roll down one vertebrae at a time to come down. So inhale, you're gonna come curl up, inhale, side bend, reach towards one ankle without pulling your feet in. You're trying to reach over, yeah, keeping the tailbone down. And then once you understand the movement, if you want your hands behind your head, you can do that. Inhale and exhale, yeah, so it's side. And sometimes, don't stay too tight. Inhale, release the belly, exhale to contract to reach. Inhale, release the belly to exhale, contract. You can't contract more if you're already squeezing. And then two more. Inhale and exhale, one more. Good, back to the center and then come back down. So let's come and lie on your side. All right. Bottom leg is straight, you're in a straight line. Top leg can either be here or here, or there, and he's fine. So you wanna lift the leg up on the exhale and then inhale down. I think as far as hips being stacked, if you can have the leg in front, that's the best, but if you just don't have the flexibility, then be here. Inhale, I want this coming from here, and then inhale, and then exhale from here. 
Yeah, so it's not just the inner thigh, it's the inner sit bone, especially if anyone has any hip pain, sometimes, or any sciatic, the sciatic nerve might be coming from the outside of the hip, so you really wanna be pulling in here. Good, and then do one more time. So both legs are gonna stack up, and then exhale, both legs lift, inhale down, and then exhale. Yeah, so I'm really trying to work my inner thigh abdominal, almost adding the weight of my top leg down on it. Good, and then two more, and then do one more. Now bottom arm down, top arm can be here if you want. Lift your head as much as you lift your feet and coming down. And then again, so don't lead with your neck. If you feel your neck, you're using your neck. You can always support it with the, the arm. If your feet are cramping, you're probably doing something with your feet. You can always try to just have them um, like a Barbie toe, you know, pointed ankle, like, no, but not aggressively pointing toe. I don't know, unless they changed Barbie from back when I, I don't know if I ever played with them, but I knew Barbie. And then two more. And then one more time, hold it up, and then scissor, one leg forward, one leg back. Now don't kick your leg forward too much. If I were to look down, I'm opening my legs to the front as much as I'm opening to the back. If you come way here, you're gonna set your pelvis, and this leg is probably gonna be in a straight line, but you want a hip extension back. The bottom leg's really weird, um, so don't worry about how much extension you have there. And try to keep little lift, shoulder down, lift here, versus side bend and cranking up through your shoulder. Two more, and one more. Bend the legs in, and then two twists back. Exhale and forward, and one more time. And back forward. All right, let's flip over, do the other side. All right, top leg out of the way. More important for you to see my legs than my face, and then exhale, abdominal inner thigh. Nice, trying to lift it from here. Inhale, release, exhale. Now you're not gonna actually be lifting here, it's just more of a, you know, you're pulling in like you're zippering. One more time, both legs stack, exhale, both legs lift, inhale. From here, and reach the legs out. So bottom leg works to lift the top leg. I don't know, how heavy is our top leg? Well, that should be added to the bottom leg. And of course, you're gonna be working from the, this, you know, top hip a little bit. And then one more time here. Bottom arm down, and then side bend, lifting your head as much as you lift your feet. And then two more. And then do one more. Good, all right, and then come up, scissor the legs. I almost forgot, I couldn't remember what we did. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And then it should be in the abdominals more than the lower back, so you can always turn a little and it kind of faces the, um, the muscles up. You wanna be here if anything, support the head this way. And then four more, and three. Two and one, bend the legs in, and then come and do a twist back. And then exhale. And then that was two. Good, all right, so let's come and sit up. Come sit, if you can, with the bottom of the legs together. If you want even more of a stretch, you could always do, I don't know, is that double pigeon or pigeon? I don't know. And then just side bend over. So I'm pushing into this arm to shift the ribs up. Pushing to shift and reach up. So the point's not to reach over, it's to reach up and over. Think of like a circle or like a bubble. You're reaching up and over. Yeah, so lengthening both sides, not just squishing this side, especially if your ribs are hitting your hips. You gotta lengthen up 
up and then up and over. All right, one more each side. All right. So if you made it the 14 days, good job. It wasn't easy for me necessarily, but you guys helped hold me accountable to do this. So thank you so much, everyone. If you have any reviews, feel free to let me know. Thanks.